Hey everyone, welcome back to some more Let's Play Xenonauts with me, your host Tim. Where we left off, we successfully did a mission down here, defeating the enemies aboard an enemy downed cruiser, and we lost our cool sniper, Leonoid, and a shield person whose name I do not remember. Who was that? Sad man! Oh, sad man! You're pretty sad now. I'm so sorry. We went 13 days without an accident on the job. That's, that's pretty good. So we need a new sniper. And I've already been eyeing these people, and I'm thinking we'll hire Pedro Diaz. He has good accuracy, decent reflexes, he doesn't need a high strength, good TUs, and okay bravery. So he'll be a decent person to hire. And then I want a decent shield person. So I'm looking for hit points and strength. And, well, quite frankly, we don't have anyone with good hit points except for these two. And they don't have good strength on them. So we'll take... I think we'll take Jacob Korcher here. Decent, good to use. Okay hit points. Decent strength. Decent accuracy. Okay reflexes and decent bravery. So, welcome aboard, sir. Now, how are we doing on research? We're looking good with the alien's communications ray and still quite a bit of work to do on the assault shield. We're not really producing anything at the moment. So, let's begin outfitting the people here with armor and off screen I took a look and I think I need four suits of jackal armor I would prefer to make us a, a a wolf suit for my two assaults but I'm not gonna have that money at the moment so let's go back over here and let's look at armor and we can make actually we, we can only make two suits of this and then we can make a single wolf battle suit. Battle suit? Can we make two of these? Oh, we could actually make two of these. That would be 100,000 bucks. No, that'd be slightly more than 100,000 bucks. When can I... How far down can I get this? I'm fine with this taking two days. I put these people on this. I'm fine with that. Let's do that. So then we'll have enough armor on this squad to at least give them some decent protection over there and then we'll work on weapons for that squad whenever I can free up money from building endless marauders all right now a very tricky interception here this will be very difficult to get this UFO because this squadron's got a condor in it or does it have two condors in it clever girl condor sky taffer two condors and a corsair are in this group it's going to be really difficult for them to intercept this UFO. So we're going to save the game. And if things go really bad, I'm just going to reload it. Because we should totally be able to intercept this UFO. Assuming that the AI doesn't really make me do some sort of like hook here. Also, with Crash Light 72, I like to hit this place. But I don't think I'm going to get a chance to do so. That it wouldn't be night. We'd have to land Doomsday and then immediately launch again to get there. And I'm not guaranteed it would be light. So I'll wait and see what happens when Doomsday reaches a our HQ. I'll reassign people here. And I'll, I guess we'll do that on screen. And then we'll see if we're able to reach here at daylight. If not, we're just going to nuke the place and get some more cash. Okay, we actually have to select a new target with you. You're just barely going to miss him. I think you can now do this. Yes, we can. Excellent. Just just destroy it. Well done. We turned the base. Oh, holy crap. Hello. We got another one. Okay, well, we definitely don't need two of these crash sites. So, crash site 73, you're a, you're a ground drop ship, basically. Oh, I want to take out this UFO. So, let's see. Um... Juggernaut HQ. What do you have? Fox McCloud is rearming. Mort is rearming. And our two Corsairs, one of them is rearming. We have to wait for two Foxtrots to rearm if I want to send them out. So we don't really have a choice of what we can do there. Um, There's no way I can hit all these crash sites, and I really, really want to. But we simply cannot do that. So we're just going to nuke crash site 72. Let's wait a little bit. We have, we do still have some time. I want Doomsday to re-reach Juggernaut. 
are my we're 50 percent loaded okay now how can we do this i want to hit these other ufos okay let's launch oh let me first look at my my foxtrots do they both have torpedoes yes they do good okay so i'm thinking we'll launch a corsair and two foxtrots and we'll try to shoot down this ufo so we're gonna get them over here looks like where i want to be because that's a cruiser so they're gonna need some support we'll watch where this guy goes to try to intercept it how was our forces back in gorgon low on fuel and ammo all of them so we have to wait for them to do things okay we're back in juggernaut let's take some time now to get people reassigned to our drop ship so let's actually first see who's on it and who's still wounded nope we can't do that with you you're gonna be unassigned everyone who's wounded has to be unassigned and then we'll see who's left to be assigned to this vessel Oh my god. We have room for one, two, three, four, five people. And I think we've got five uninjured people. So let's do this. Um, now, in that regard, one of my wounded assaults... Holy crap, what are you doing with that type of ammo? You shouldn't have that. You're... Oh, well, now you should, actually. So... You're getting back a... Wait, you're an assault, so you need a plasma carbine. Wow, there was some really awkwardness there. Oh, sure, you're going to get this plasma car, uh, laser carbine, Mr. Jeffrey. And then we will give Mr. Kramer a plasma. Here we go, and he will be reassigned to our doomsday. John Bravado. Oh, no. Okay, so we are going to have to do this with one someone who has a laser carbine. Alternatively, I could make you a sniper for this r mission. Oh, no, because we have one sh Wow, one shot. You've been with us in a forever. I don't remember assigning you here for quite some time. AC, AC, you are wounded. You are not coming along. Joe Firestarter, you haven't been with us in a long time either. Um, do I want two Rocketeers? Wow! You haven't seen Battle in forever. We could make you a sniper for this mission, but I don't think I'll do that. We'll keep you as a person who blows the things up. And I know I don't need knockout gas. I really just want all the blowing up weapons that we we can get on us. What's the stun? 40 stun per turn? Yeah, I'd rather just have rockets. So we will assign you to Doomsday. Mr. Powell? Wow, it's been a long time as well. All these people, all my captains, have not been assigned for quite some time. Mr. Bravado, okay. So I will make you a sniper at the moment. So we will give you an actual laser rifle, uh, a laser pre precision plasma. That's what it's called, Tim. Let's actually set this as the default, new default equipment for my snipers. And we'll give you something to blow up walls. We'll give you a med pack. Actually, then we'll take away this. Take away one smoker nature, not too overweighted. And you will also be assigned to Doomsday. Now, it seems like Doomsday lost a a sniper so oh no we totally have two sniper rifles one shot and mr bravado are both here so we have one two three assaults two snipers two heavy weapons two rocketeers two riflemen and a single shield oh wow that's gonna be an interesting group you mr rifleman i do not want you sitting back here with just nothing so there you go miss let's make sure we didn't take that armor from anybody i wasn't paying attention and actually i have leftover armor so i know i should not have taken that from anyone we did not all right so who else here doesn't have their equipment standard on them you don't mr rifleman let's set your default equipment okay 
So we've got currently an extra suit of wolf armor lying around, only because we've swapped out John Bravado. Instead of assault, he's now a sniper. So why don't we give... Why don't we give Corporal Roger Rogers the wolf armor? So he won't need this. We'll take away these, and he'll use the wolf armor. Okay, that's good. Now, let's save the game so we don't have to do any of that again. If I was to immediately intercept this location with Doomsday, it would take me 10 hours? We'll have we'll launch now, and I think we, we'll be able to do it. Okay, over here, I'm waiting on, again, these aircraft in Gorgon. I would need at least my Corsair and my Marauder to be operational to down this cruiser. So we'd have to, to pass by time. On this note, I'm also just going to blow Crash Site 72 up. We're going to hit this Crash Site instead. Pass by some time, pass by some time. Yep, inching. Oh, hello. He's going a different direction, Tim. In fact, you probably can't catch him now. Oh, we might actually. We're kind of faster than the cruiser. That's interesting. Let's select a new target. Try... Uh, no. That's a mistake, because we'll, we'll end up trailing him. I need to kind of do the intercept thing. This guy, I like where he's going. We'll have to watch him, too. We're also almost at the alien base, though. And Marauder 1 has been rearmed and refueled. Foxtrot... My Foxtrots are also ready. They're a little low on fuel, but I think we might build the intercept. Let's pass by a little more time. Okay. Let's launch. Let's go here. Oh, wow. Everyone's kind of rearming, actually, down here. It's the fuel they have a lot of. Not Okay, never mind. We're not... I oh, we need to send these three? No, we can't send them out. We have to, we have to wait. It's so tricky getting this to be right, to have these aircraft intercept the way I would want them to intercept in real life, rather than just beeline right to the target. I'm going to wait for UFO 152 to get closer to Chimera before we respond with Chimera. Actually, what how's Chimera's vessels looking? Oh, we're in perfect shape. That's awesome. Okay, we can just down that. Oh, let's make sure um, you guys are all armed with the proper weapons. Is that correct? You're armed with plasma missiles, so I don't want that. Because I'm going to forget that you've had... Oh, and crap, and you're on with plasma missiles, too. I want torpedoes on you guys by default. Alright, so that they'll have to rearm, which will take like one or two hours. Alright, let's save the game again, now that that's happening. Thank you guys, by the way, for bearing with me throughout, throughout all of this. I hope it's not too boring watching me do all this miscellaneous administrative stuff. Oh, I also apologize. The last video, my voice was echoey. When Chris was over and we were recording Pool of Radiance together... We moved where the microphone was, but then I had to set the microphone to a different... I'm using a Blue Yeti uh, microphone here. I had to reset the microphone to pick up volume in a in an area around it entirely. Normally, it's just directed directly at my face, as it were. Like, only things from the front of it are picked up. This, But what you heard was bouncing around the walls. I forgot it was set to that for the last video. All right. Let's uh, advance time a little more. Yep, we can totally catch this this UFO. Let's get him. We can do that now. Actually, uh, I kind of still want you to go this way. And how's Gorgon again? Hi, Gorgon, how you looking? No ammo on my Taffers or my Foxtrot. Marauder's reloading its ammo still. So, okay, we're going to hit the alien base. Now, heads up, everyone. I've got, like, 33 minutes to play. So this will be another... We get in the alien base, we do a little bit of it, and then we'll pick up... In the next video, just because of how late it is. It, it's only, it, it's not even 9 o'clock, but I have to be at work super early for uh, work. <laughs> that didn't really explain much, but trust me, I, I, I can't really be late tomorrow. I think now we can probably get him. That's a shame we lost people. That's not going to make America very happy. But we're going to try killing that, destroying this UFO soon, once it gets a little closer. Okay, time to do the base, Tim. Yep. We engage. I 
I kind of hoping it's Seblians and Reapers, because I know how to deal with them at the very start. You know, nothing like whittling down one-third of the enemy force right away when they all charge you. If it's not Seblians and Reapers, it will have been the first mission that that's not going to be the case. Okay, so... We want you guys here. I want a shield on both sides. Takashi, you'll be right here. Irving, you're gonna face that way. I want my other, do I have a second heavy? I do. Mr. Imperialis, you've been with us a long time. You're gonna stay there. I'm gonna have my private light bulb Larry my new, ro my new Rocketeer, apparently, he'll stay there so he can shoot down in either direction, if need be. Actually, with that in mind, we'll just move you straight up to the door. Like this. Uh, Cassandra, we're putting you. Let's get you on this side. You'll be our door opener. Mr. Kalishnikov can be our door opener on this side. There's no reason actually to move them as close to the door as possible, Tim, if this is what you're doing with them. Actually, Cassandra, uh, what's your reflexes, Cassandra? I can't tell. Okay, not until we start. We'll have our second shield on this side. Cassandra, you'll be here at the moment. Put another one of you guys over here. Mr. Wow, we have lots of, la of plasma rifles in this group. This is wonderful. We actually should put them facing like this, so it's only one TU to face whatever direction I need, instead of two TUs to correct the direction. All right, I think this is what we're going with. Can I can I start them kneeled? Oh, you're kidding me! I can. Oh, how wonderful! All right, then let's do that. Light bulb, Larry. We will crouch you as well. I didn't realize that was even possible. That is awesome. All right, this is our fifth alien base. Let's do it. Holy crap, I am now terrified. This is not a door? Okay, I now really, really don't want this to be Semblians and Reapers. <laughs> Absolutely not. Now I am very afraid. Um, I was expecting, for some reason I just couldn't see the door. I didn't realize this was an open passage. Alright, so we're still going to go through this way first. Let's see what's in here. And we don't even know what it is. And there isn't two doors. So this is really frightening for me. If there's a Seblian, a, a Leaper right here, for example. It could charge out here, open the door, and attack us. So I'm going to move Private Dennis Corestone up. And see if I can see what type of alien might be in this base. Okay, I don't see anything. So we're going to run him back. I'm still going to do the door thing on this side. On this side, I'm terrified. I don't know what to do. So, Wolfenstein, you're going to crouch here. We will move Sergio back, actually, and also crouch. Mr. Kalishnikov, you'll move here. Mr. Irving... Cassandra, I want you facing this way and crouching. I kind of want leisure. Leisure, what's your reflexes? What are, what, how do I check? Oh, your backpack. 61? It's acceptable. So we'll move you here and face you like that. And we're actually going to pick up and move Lightbulb Larry to here. I'm a little nervous that a long-ranged AoE attack from, like, a drone will just gut everyone here. Actually, with that in mind, Tim, you should throw smoke grenades or something. There's no re- we should have learned that lesson last time. So, let's actually- Kalishnikov, you're gonna move up, actually. Face this way and throw a flare. There's only 22 to use and we can move you back.
And then we will have Cassandra. You will throw a smoke grenade for us. Now, if it's Kaizen's, we have run into Kaizen's, which could mind control us. So there is always the threat that we're going to end up having our own people shoot each other. In which case, we're going to be a lot more aggressive if that's the case. Like, we're going to have to charge through this place, finding out where these guys are. Let's end our turn. Okay. We open the door and see what's on the other side of it. Peter... Pop of, you're gonna check out for us what's up in here. You can move a little more. Alright, I still don't see anything. We're gonna keep the door shut. We weren't mind controlled or anything as well. And I don't see any aliens down the hallway. I still believe we're probably gonna get some aliens rushing toward us to start. I would like to know what they are. So we're just gonna end our turn again. Okay, as before, we're going to open this door and see what's on the other side of it. Again, Peter's going to take a look. If I don't see anything next round, then we're going to have to move out. And I still don't see anything. Okay. Androns. Wasn't expecting battle tanks, basically, down here. Let's get you out of the way, Irving. Wolfenstein. You can take two 81% shots. Awesome hit, sir. Thank you very much. And we've learned that smoke grenades will be really useful. So that's wonderful. Can you throw a smoke grenade? You cannot. All right, we're just going to wait. Let's open this door. Now that we know what we're fighting, that will be helpful. I want to see if anyone's showing up here. Nope. Okay, let's toss... Oh, you don't have a smoke grenade, and gas grenades are useless on you, Mr. Larry. Can move you up here for cover, and you could stare down that hallway more for us, but then you'd bite it, and I'd rather not lose anybody if I can help it. We have two smoke grenades on Irving right. We could throw another one. Let's do that. And we will move you... Be really careful, because they're going to carry huge AoE guns, Tim. Like, a shot here will hit all three of the... Uh, all three here. So I need to be really careful. Why don't we move... No, it'll still hit them. Alright, we're, we're good. Let's end our turn again. Okay. Okay, perfect. I just realized you're not wearing any armor, Peter Pop, P Peter. So we're not going to take the first shot with you, or we could actually do so. That we could charge in with these two to try to kill it. So let's take let's take a shot. And try to get rid of some of its TUs. It didn't fire on us. Okay, let's pull you back. We'll fire on it as well, Private Dennis. It's got to be almost dead. Shame, actually. I could have taken a second shot with Peter and probably should have. Instead, Eric, you're charging up, Sergeant. Try to get you away. And down here, I'm not brave enough yet because I know they're probably still sending some more at our starting position. Okay. 
I guess we will now be a little brave. We've, we've hunkered down in, in fear long enough. Time to move up. Sergeant Sergio, we'll start with you. That will be good enough for you. You're just, you're just gonna stand here for some covering fire. Irving, I could run into the hallway and have a bunch of smoke and still in front of me. I think we'll move you, Mr. Kalishnikov, up into the hallway as well. Cassandra, let's move you. You have good reflexes. I could move you wide out in the open. I don't know if I'm too comfortable with that. I don't think I'm comfortable with that. But we will begin moving you up a little bit. How many smoke... See, now, now that I know it's Androns, I kind of want to hold on to my smoke grenades for assaulting areas where I know we're going to get lots of them, rather than... What the heck was that sound? Rather than taking guesses at where they'll be. Okay. We got to move out, Tim. And you should... Do we want to move out all as one cohesive unit this time? Or do we want to separate? I think the separ separating is fine. Why don't we stay here like this, Dennis, with you? Can you throw a flare? You can. Good enough. I'm gonna run you up here, Peter. And you two will throw a flare forward. I just need to. I kind of need to know what's happening. That's that's fine. We can do that. We'll run Eric up here for support. Mister Leisure Suit. We could run Major. Let's run Major up here. He'll have lots of nice eight, cover. Can we still throw some smoke with you, Mister Leisure Suit? We can. We have two smoke grenades, so I think this is probably a good idea. We need 57 to throw, though. So I'd have to hope we can throw it from here. We have a good chance, though. So let's... Uh, no. I won't do so. We'll take a risk that we won't encounter anything nasty. You'll run here. If it runs up here, it will hopefully shoot this guy. Actually, why don't you hug this corner instead? No, that's... Ah, oh, I don't know where to move you. Let's move you here. Actually, we'll move you here instead. Okay. And on this side... I can't be too afraid, Tim. You kind of have to move up. Well, you don't have to move up, but we're gonna. We're gonna move Light Bulb Larry... Here. We're gonna stand you, Mr. Wolfenstein. Move you up to here. And that'll be good. Oh, God. Well, your shield took that hit like a champ. And you didn't lose too many points do doing that. Can we run you straight up to it? Irving, we can. Let's take... That's, a, that's an assault gun on it. Like, I'm sorry, a shotgun. I always say the wrong thing. Let's try destroying it with you, Irving. Wow. Let's get you away, if at all possible. Sergio is going to do the very stupid brave thing and stare right at this door. Because if there's another one, I don't want it to kill my assault. Actually, we could just throw a smoke grenade here for cover and, and try not to lose anyone. So why don't we do that, Tim? Do you have enough to throw a smoke grenade with him? Probably not now. No, because I moved him up. Light bulb, Larry, you have a, No, you don't have a smoke grenade. We're going to run you up. Probably suicide to do this, but I want you up here. Cassandra, you have another smoke grenade. So does Wolfenstein. You have a smoke grenade, Imperialis. You have two. Okay, let's use you to do this. How much is it to throw? 41.
Awesome. Hopefully that will deter them from just walking up and just icing you. Let them take some cover. Uh, Kusenta, we can probably move you up a tiny bit like this. And you should be safe because of all the smoke. We'll move our sniper up a little bit as well on this side. Now on this side, we know one rounded the corner here. So we kind of need to provoke it. We definitely have the firepower to down it. Yes. Yep, we knew he was here. I can take two shots from here at him. Let's do so. There'll be normal shots, so not a high chance to hit, though. Nice. That turned him. So now we can charge up with Eric. Who can also... Do I want him running up this way? No. I think we'll keep him here. And he'll crouch for cover. Peter, you can move up a little bit and you'll crouch for cover. We'll run Mr. Cornerstone over here. Get ready for next turn. Leisure Suit will run up here to give some more support. And we'll inch Takashi up here. And we'll keep him standing because he can do some reaction fire if need be. Stefan, you haven't done anything this turn, but I don't know if I want you to. Let's end our turn. Awesome. No one died. Okay. Let's save the game. These things are going really well, and I'd hate for, like, a misclick to really screw anything up. I'm recording, Tim. Please tell me I'm recording. Yes, and I'm not muted. Okay, perfect. All right, so far so good. We have killed, I think, four? Four or five Andron so far. One, two... I think three, four. There's probably close. There's 18 to 25 of them in here, probably. Plus whatever they're here with, which won't be Reapers, I believe. We would have already found Reapers charging us. I'm pretty sure. Right, well, we need to we need to move in. Let's take a peek inside. Giant room here. Oh, God! There's another one here. Okay. Okay, we know it's here. Let's get you to cover. And you'll crouch. There's tons of debris here. So, it's gonna have to sh Oh, actually, it only has this one thing blocking our shot. If it moves up here, it could easily fire on us. We have a smoke grenade we could use to provide some cover here. The gun looks like an AoE gun to me as well. Peter, let's get you up. You have not seen the creature, which means it hasn't seen you either. So we can dash you up pretty far. We can then also run Takashi up. In case it decides to show up. Eric, I love to run you, but it's death to run you all the way up here. Maybe it wouldn't be. I don't know how much, much movement a blue Andron has. Probably more than I would like it to have. I think your best bet is to throw a smoke grenade for us, Eric. How many smoke grenades do I have left? I'm going to want like three when I assault the enemy l HQ. I have four, at least on this side. Five. Six. Seven. I have plenty of smoke grenades on this side, so we can definitely do this. So how many? How much is it to throw a smoke grenade with you, sir? Forty-two. So we can totally go right here, turn north, and toss a, toss a smoke grenade. And toss it right there. Hopefully. And then we can run you up here, Mr. Leisure Suit. Crouch for more cover. On this side, well, I don't think anything opened the door. We can run right up. I didn't hear it open, but it also wouldn't have... Well, 
it might not have opened. We wouldn't have... It didn't see us, but I don't think it would have, judging from where my people are located. So this may seem suicidal, but I need to run up here and open this door. We have enough to open and close it with Sergio here. So let's do so. Oh, God. Wow, what type of room is this, actually? Hold on, I've never seen this place. This must be where they construct the Androns. Can we get you in here, Irving? We can run you up to take a shot. Let's see if we can, however, shoot it with a rocket. It'd have to be a snapshot. From... From pretty far away. But we can try. Please don't kill my person. Awesome! Awesome hit, Mr. Lightbulb Larry. Well done, Private. Well done indeed. Awesome work. I'm thinking we should probably shut the door now. And we'll go in there next turn. Let's pop in really quick. Actually, if I do this now, I don't have enough to shut the door. So I guess you'll stay in here for us, Sergio, being very brave. We can run Kalishnikov. We could also run you up around the corner, but then you could easily just bite it, Irving, if one of them runs around the corner. Why don't we run you into the room? Or let's run up and shut the door. Let's run up and shut the door. Then we can run Irving up. I have to be careful. A shot here could just destroy the door from one of their AoE guns. We'll just run you up like this. Crusandra, I'm going to run you up here. And you'll keep an eye on that hallway for us. Imperialis, you'll round the corner like this. Wolfenstein, I want you to have enough for an aim shot. Okay, that's good. Okay, it wasn't brave enough to charge us. I'm not dumb enough to charge it. We know you're there, Andron. We totally know you're there. Why don't you just crouch here? We'll move Mr. Cornerstone up. Crouch him. He'll just stand there and stare. Can we get you behind these crates, Eric? I'll have to hope, actually. I, I'm going to keep you like this. And you'll continue to stare down that passageway like you're doing, Le Mr. Le Leisure Suit. Unless I want to move you here. Let's move you here instead. There's some smoke in the way. And you have something else we'll have to shoot through. Oh crap, Tim! You could you could have rates, you know. There could be rates here, and I could be being plinked from behind at any moment. So I'm actually gonna peek behind me really fast. I'm actually really glad I just remembered that. Okay, let's end our turn. Nice, two hits, sir. Shield's probably down. Good thing I didn't have one of my assaults up there. That shield is a champion shield. And it's practically destroyed. Why don't you open the door and let these other people in? You can't hit it. I'm a little nervous. Let's see if we can get maybe around it. Darn it. I was hoping I get, could make it turn around. Because now we have to charge it right in the face. And now you're kind of in the open, Mr. Klusnikov. Just stand there and let you, let us know what killed you. We'll run up here with Lightbulb Larry. He needs to reload. I'm aware of that. I'm thinking I'm going to move a group up here. 
We haven't seen anything peek around the corner yet. They're aware that we're down here. So, Cassandra, we're going to take you. I'm not brave enough to peek around that corner this turn. You'll have support from Mr. Wolfenstein as well. And we'll bring Mr. Imperialis. Careful, Tim. And I think... Oh no, we didn't we didn't see him show up on this side, did we? He's hiding right in that corner. We know he's in that corner. Can we throw a grenade around that corner this turn? Probably not. Let's see, there's a good Oh, we can try to throw it right there. Let's do it. That's kind of... Uh, no, that will still hit that area. Not from there it won't, but we might destroy the thing that's blocking the shot. I'm not... I should, shouldn't have crouched you. I'm not moving you up, because if it has an AoE gun, right, same right behind this guy, you'll, take, you'll both take hits. Let's end our turn. Okay, it didn't quite do what I wanted... We'll throw the other one. Excellent. That landed where we wanted it to go. That should get its attention. No one's moving on this side. I know there's one there. I'm not moving in against it. We didn't, thankfully, lose anybody on this side. Cassandra, take a peek for us around the corner. It's a door. Okay, let's see what's on the other side of the door. Let's also reload with you, light bulb Larry. Mr. Sergio, your shield is effectively gone, but it can still absorb 11 hits, so we will continue to have you with it. I want to know if there's an alien waiting for us on the other side of that door. Oh god, I hate large hallways. I don't see anything. Running you back, Mr. Kalishnikov. There could be something on this side of the door, of course. So... Sandra, we could run you up and open the door with someone else. Who would do it? It had to be someone who can't shoot. I hate running everyone up like this. This is such a big mistake, Tim. Let's run you up here, Irving. Sergio, we've got no choice but... I mean, you've got to come with us. You you have smoke grenades. You'll stay where you are. I'm going to guess it's Harridans in here, not Wraiths. We probably would have been shot in the back already. That said, I'm still going to peek behind me. Nope, nothing. All right, we're waiting for that grenade to go off. I'm actually thinking I'm going to move Core Stone up now. He has some grenades himself. We'll keep pummeling that area. Once a second grenade hits there, I'll be confident that the thing's probably destroyed. Uh, I don't think I want to open that door this turn, but I know I should. It's It works in our, in our favor if we can destroy whatever it is before it shoots us. So let's, move, let's do it. Oh, there's nothing here. Wonderful. Cassandra shut the door. We can move you up. And that's all I'm willing to do. Let's move you up a little bit, Takashi. Since you can't shoot, you also search behind us. Okay, let's end our turn. It's gotta be dead if it's still there. It has to be. I can move up here and see it, but then I can't I can't really kill it because Eric will have to get around him. I, we, we can probably still do it. Let's take a peek. 
Actually, we should take a peek with Dennis. Scrap. Died. Excellent work, team. Take the cover. Peter, move over here. That should be good. Let's move you up. I'm so nervous about moving someone right there, because an AoE shot will down him. So you'll move up to here, Eric. I don't see anything. No, no nasty rates at the moment. And now this side. So we didn't see any, any activity, which is interesting. So, all right, let's let's hunt down some aliens. Imperialis, since you're not going to be able to fire, you might as well just open. Open the door. Hello, alien. You having a good day? Hello. How are you doing? Wouldn't mind having Cassandra take the killing shot. Nice work. And that lets me get Irving back around the corner again. Oh man, that was pretty nerve-wracking. Let's check around this corner. We don't see anything. You'll crouch as well. Can you shoot past this? Yes, you can. Okay, good. Um, let's shut the door again. Stefan, I really want to know if there's an alien here. And run back. <laughs> I'm not brave enough to send someone up there in the middle of all the unknown little side passages at the moment. No, I'm not. Actually, we should have someone up there. Sergio, you have done so much for us. I really, you, everyone here has done so much for us already. I really don't want to just risk someone's life for information. Why don't you face this way, Irving? You can't do much of anything else this turn anyway. Sergio, you'll be like that. Let's hop the fence and get you up a little bit. Actually, this is a huge mistake. We should definitely move you away because we don't want an AOE shot to down you. That's all from that side. And I think we even moved this side already. We did. All right, let's end our turn. We'll do one more turn, everybody, and then we'll call the session for this one. All right. Didn't see any aliens. Did not see any aliens. Let's get around. Oh, God. Long, open passageway. Let's crouch you for more cover. Get you around the corner. Do you have enough to throw a smoke grenade? 37? No, not enough. You have to throw a flare. 20. We can do that. Around the corner. So now we can run you all the way up here, Eric. I can even charge you over because there's no alien right around the corner. We can move Mr. Leisure Suit. I can safely move him up to here. The aliens would have to come here to fire on you, and they'll be distracted by Dennis. And we will run you up as well. Perfect place for a grenade, but I... Th you know what? That's too perfect of a place for a grenade. We'll run you back, Takashi. And then on this side, we didn't see any aliens. Let's open this door again. Alright, nothing down the center here that I can see. Let's begin investigating. Oh, hello. Wow, look at that table. That's interesting. Why don't we go here? Actually, just, just go here. That's fine, Sergio. So then we can move Kalishnikov up. He'll face his death that in that direction. Wolfenstein. Our sniper can run here. Oh, hello. There's no there's no door there. That's at, I feel a little better about that, knowing we don't have a yawning opening over there. 
Cassandra, we're running you up. Imperialis, where are we running you? Let's run you here. You did open the door, so you don't have much to use. Uh, I kind of want you not where you are now that I think about it. I'd rather have an assault up there. Run Irving up here like this, and Light Bulb Larry will run you over here. And that's everyone. All right, let's end our turn. All right, no one died. And we will, we're going to stop here, everyone. And when we come back, we'll finish up this base assault. I will see you guys then, and thank you for watching. Take care.